going to start a series called Let's Talk About the Build, and it's going to discuss multiple things that you guys have multiple questions about, but we'll break it down into segments so it'll be easier to link for you guys to see. Um, we'll talk about the motor itself, suspension, my cooling setup as far as oil and radiator, the exhaust setup, STI transmission swap, which is needed, and fuel, interior gauge pod setups, my seats. It's going to be a long series, but it's going to be um, detailed and broken down. And today, to start the series off, we're going to do STI six-speed swap. Welcome to episode one, where we're going to be talking about the STI transmission. And I thought, because this is not really an exterior mod or anything like that, an in-style car vlog with some B-roll shots will probably be the best. Um, I'm using my external mic, but you're still going to be hearing the surge tank. So just heads up for that. We're just going to go around for a little bit of a drive and I'll tell you exactly what parts you need to order if you're going to be running the STI transmission swap with or without the axles and hubs. First off, let's go ahead, start the car, let it warm up. I'll see you guys in a minute or two. going so you have a WRX and you're thinking of upgrading to an STI six-speed whether that's because you blew out your synchros you want to start tracking the car and you're worried about the five-speed whatever reason you have to switch to a uh, STI six-speed you're gonna do it the main reason I switched was because my third gear synchro ran out, uh, went out and I knew I wanted to track the car, so an STI six-speed just due to the fact that it can hold more power and it's just more robust and reliable, I went ahead and did it. So I found my STI six-speed, it's a 2011 or 2012 STI six-speed. I found it off eBay, which is probably where most of you guys will find yours. That's where I would look personally. They come off a lot of salvage cars. I think I got mine without axles and hubs for probably around $2,000 um, without a DC CD either. So $2,000 I want to say, you can find whole packages if you're really looking and you don't buy right away with DC CD with axles and hubs for probably $1,700 to $2,500. Uh, Mr. Squirrel, look out. So you just gotta do your research, you gotta look, be patient, and sooner or later you'll most likely find a good deal for um, an STI transmission. But let's go ahead first. Like I said, you're gonna need the STI trans. It's up to you if you're gonna do the DC CD. If you are, you're gonna need the six pin connector for the wire harness. If you're not doing it, and you're just gonna use the WRX harness, go ahead and remove and put to the side the two um, DC CD pins from the STI trans and save them for later. Besides that, it's pretty easy um, plug and play. You're gonna need an STI starter. You're gonna need a new clutch. You're gonna need the shifter components, um, the cable, just the linkage, stuff like that. You're gonna need a rear diff. Now for rear diff, you can either go, what I did was an R160 conversion and I used a bug eye rear diff, or you can get an STI rear diff. Um, either way, you are gonna need a new rear diff, as the final drive gearing is not the same for the WRX and STI. I also went, this is optional, I got a carbon fiber drive shaft. It's a single piece instead of two pieces connected. It's up to you if you wanna do that. Um, if you're gonna be tracking the car and stuff like that, I highly recommend it. And then some optional things that you can get, um, for instance, are, short throw shifter, shifter bushings, clutch line, uh, transmission mounts. I mean, might as well because it's already gonna be out and all those things benefit you every way. And if, um, then you have the option. I, I did not get axles and hubs like I said before. You can stay five by uh, 100. The reason I didn't do it was because the one that I bought off eBay didn't come with axles and hubs. But how, if I wanna do it, it's not very hard. I think it'll cost maybe 1500 bucks 
to find the parts. And then to add the DC CD in, I just need to connect to the two wires that are off to the side. But besides that, I mean, it's pretty simple and basic, basic stuff to get your STI six-speed swap done. There's not many parts. It, it just seems more labor intensive um, because it, it definitely is. You gotta drop the trains out and everything. You gotta know what you're doing. You gotta do your clutch. And if you're not familiar with that, it can definitely be a hard thing to do. But when most people ask me what's needed to do a STI six-speed swap, and I tell them the list, they're actually pretty surprised at how short it is and how basic it is. They thought more parts were gonna be needed. The one part, the two parts that I really um, didn't think about before getting was the rear diff and the STI starter. I thought the WX starter would be perfectly fine, but I have, I believe I have a clip which I will throw on the screen. You'll see the teeth and the opening of the WRX and the STI are much different. The STI clutch is a lot bigger. Um, I forget exactly which one it is. Either the WRX is a push style plate and the STI is a pull or it's vice versa. Um, it's been so long, I, I don't remember which one's which, but you're gonna need the STI starter because if you don't and you just get the WRX starter and leave that in, you're gonna turn it over and just go click, 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 click because the teeth aren't gonna be able to grab. STI trans swap, not very difficult to do. Um, just make sure you're looking around, figuring out where the best deal for you is and going from there. But for the most part, that's what's needed to do an STI trans swap on a WRX. But let's go ahead and talk Brembo's just because it's very quick. I have a full video of how to install Brembo's, which I'll put down below. But if you're staying 5x100, it's gonna be a little bit of a different install than if you're going uh, 5x114 because those are already made for Brembo's. Uh, Brembo's, those are harder to find, especially if you're gonna have to redo the piston work and stuff like that. Um, it might need a rebuild, but you're probably looking at $2,000 for Brembo's. Install super easy, straight to the point. Hardest part probably is gonna be bleeding brakes if you've never done it before. But that would complete the full transmission side of the WRX to SCI conversion is Brembo's, axles and hubs, SCI transmission, rear diff, done. But if you guys have any more questions about this, hopefully this first video had good information and allows you guys to get your SCI transmission done if you want. But until next time, catch you later.